Hi, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is a Candid Conversation. This conversation today is to all the Christians who have embraced a something we called Chrislam. I want to be very frank and honest with you. The God of Islam is not the God of the Bible. Allah and the Lord are not the same. The Allah is a desert deity that was picked up by, by Muhammad. He received a special message from the angel Gabriel, or an angel that claimed to be Gabriel. And what's been going on in the Christian world these days is we have been embracing an idea that the God of Islam is the God of the Bible, or the Jesus of Islam is just a little different from the Jesus of the Bible. They are not. They are not even compatible. Jesus of the Bible is God with a face. Jesus of the Bible is one who gave his life for all mankind. But not that we would practice some sort of syncretism or some sort of, of chrism where we say, well, the God of the Bible and the God of Allah are the same. They're not the same. I implore you in the name of the Lord. If you're a missionary, if you're a pastor that has embraced this, refute it. Let it go. Jesus came that all men might be saved. Paul, the apostles, gave their lives because they believed that there was only one way, only one truth, and only one life. There are some of you who have said, well, there are many ways to God. There is only one way to God. You cannot call yourself a Christian pastor if you have said the things that I've just said. Jesus Christ came that all men might be saved. He is the only way, the only truth, and the only life. He allowed his body to be broken. He allowed his blood to be shed. He allowed himself to be crucified. He was buried in a borrowed grave, and he rose from the dead so that all men might be saved. Remember what Peter said in Acts chapter 4. There's only one name given under heaven which men might be saved. If you say anything otherwise, you are not giving the Christian gospel. You're giving a hybrid or a variation. So I, I'm having a candid conversation to you today and to those who might be watching of another faith. I just want to be very frank with you. What you believe is a lie. You've been deceived. Jesus Christ is the only name given under heaven. I once had a conversation with a Baha'i. A Baha'i is someone who believes that there are many places and many ways to God. I had a conversation with him back in Yellowknife, and he says, you know, the thing I don't like about you Christians is that you're narrow-minded. I said, what do you mean? He says, well, you say there's only one way to God. I told him, I said, it wasn't us who said it. It was Jesus who said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and life. No man can come to the Father but by me. It was Jesus who said that, not us. We're just simply echoing the words of Jesus. So today, hear the words of Jesus. Come back if you are a Christian and come back to the central truth that Jesus is the only way. The Jesus of the Bible is the Jesus of the Bible. The God of the Bible is the God of the Bible. He's not the God of somebody else. The gods that are presented by all these other groups are false deities, false lies. So today, come back to the truth and understand this is God's appeal, I believe. We're having a content conversation with Robert Dean Steele. You have yourself a great and godly day.